The cheetah has to go for it. A quick hunt and then back to the lair. The hyena is watching all this. And a little too sure of itself approaches the cheetah certain to come out the winner. But just then, a new character walks on stage, one that was not expected, a lioness. This one is really sure of herself and determined to turn the situation to her advantage. Nobody dares attack her. The hyena and the cheetah are left on their own. Indifferent, the lioness ignores them with the arrogance of a victor. Vexed, the hyena, again, goes off to a safe distance. Out of breath, the cheetah isn't too sure that she'll have a meal today. She'd better just go back to her little ones, or maybe make one last attempt under the watchful gaze of the hyena, who more than ever is looking for his slightest chance. By now, other hyenas are present, curious to see how well the cheetah will do. With energy born of hopelessness, the cheetah begins a frantic chase in pursuit of a gnu, but she lacks conviction and is too soon out of breath. Even the gallery of watching hyenas doesn't think that she'll succeed. However, they join others of their pack and profit from the panic caused by the cheetah to attack a wounded gnu. The lone hyena would very much like to join the party. Well, aren't there cordial relations among all members of the same species? No cordial relations at all. A very strict social order determines relationships among individuals in groups of hyenas. The loner is not part of this group, so the dominant female directing the group chases him away in no uncertain terms. Nothing can be done, so it's best 